Solving logarithmic equations. Um, okay, yeah, that's what we're doing. So you should take some notes so that you can process with me. Make sure you pause the video when you're ready to try an example on your own. Um, and yeah, it should be good. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching math with Ms. B. So solving logarithmic equations. Um, what you want to do when you're solving logarithmic equations is you want to exponentiate both sides. Okay, so this is log base 4. So I'm going to raise both sides to a base of 4. That's what I'm going to call it, right? And what that helps me do is that helps me use the inverse property. And the inverse property says if I have 4, log base 4, those cancel out. So I'm going to be left with x plus 3 equals 4 to the power of 2. Now 4 to the power of 2 is going to be 16. And so I can just solve for, solve for x. Minus 3 minus 3. x equals 13. Process that. Digest it. Yes. Try this one on your own. It's the same problem, different numbers, okay? Um, I always say, you know, you wanna make sure that you know your properties. You wanna make sure you know how to expand and condense before you had gotten to me in this lesson. Okay. So we're gonna exponentiate both sides. So we're gonna raise both sides to the power of two. That's gonna let me use my inverse property. So I'm gonna get x minus four equals two to the power of three. Two to the power of three is what? It's eight. And then I'm gonna add four to both sides to isolate x. And guess what? X equals 12. Yes. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, level two, level two. That was level one problem. Level two. So what are we going to look at now? I have three Ellen, and you're like, well, we could just raise it to the, to the exponentiate both sides, but not yet. Okay? I want to make sure that my I isolate the log. Okay? That's what you always want to make sure. So we're going to divide by three, divide by three first. So I'm going to get ln2x equals 4. Now that my log is isolated, now I can exponentiate both sides. What base am I going to use? Come on, people. Base e, because it's a natural log. Yes, very good. So we're going to exponentiate both sides by raising both sides to um, e's. And that allows me to cancel out using my inverse property. So I'm going to be left with 2x equals e to the fourth power <coughs> sorry oh some in my throat so i'm gonna solve for x by dividing by two this is my exact answer this is my approximate answer ba -ba -ba! pay attention to your directions try this one on your own I am thirsty, my water is very far away, and now that I have a mic attached to me, I cannot go get it. I still like a log. Okay, so then we're going to exponentiate both sides to the power of E. Isolate X. E cubed divided by 3 is my exact answer approximate answer boom that was level two level three. Oh my goodness that's you're not supposed to exponentiate both sides yet you're supposed to condense the log first let's try to get one singular log term isolated before we move on and try to exponentiate both sides so what that looks like is we're gonna go ahead and use our product rule remember plus turns into product so I have X parentheses x minus 7 condensed to the log now that I have one log now I can go ahead and exponentiate both sides okay so that means that I'm going to raise both sides to the power of 2 or to a base of 2 I'm not really sure how to say that right but that lets me use my inverse property so swipe swipe okay so that leaves me with x parentheses x minus 7 equals 2 to the third power which is 8 okay so now that I have my equation we're just going to go ahead and distribute so x squared minus 7x equals 8 set it equal to 0 
Do not combine those. Seven minus eight. You cannot do that. They're not like terms, okay? We're just going to put it at the end. And look at this. This is a trinomial. When you have a trinomial, how do you solve? Factoring. Factoring comes back to haunt us all the time, every time. Just be ready. Yeah. Be ready. Okay, so I have x minus 8, x plus 1 equals 0. Set them equal to 0 and solve. Yay! But now what you don't know is that the domain of a log does not consist of negative numbers. So actually, the only answer is x equals 8. Don't let them fool you. All right. Try that one by yourself. It's the same problem. Different numbers. Follow the process. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. Why do you do that? I'm going to check to make sure that this thing is still recording. It is. Good. Example number six. We're like mm, halfway-ish done. Maybe a little less than half that way. Okay. Condense the log. Using our product property. Exponentiate both sides. What base am I going to use? Mm -hmm. That lets me use my inverse property. So 10 log base 10 cancels out. X parentheses x minus 3 equals 10. Distribute! X squared minus 3x equals 10. Set the problem equal to 0. Don't combine the 3 and the 10. They're not like terms. Don't do that. Just put them all in one little swoop. Yeah? Factor. We love factoring. We love to see it. Oh, you want to know what I wanted to record today? Oh, vlog, I forgot. Anyway, x minus 5 equals 0. x plus 2 equals 0. Yay! Which one doesn't count? The negative answer. Don't let them fool you. OK, that was level, did I say that was level 3? I think that was level three. This is level four. Yep, level four. Condense the log. Boop, boop, boop. Now, notice on both sides, I have a natural log and a natural log. So that means log base E, log base E. If I have the same base on both sides, guess what? I can use my one-to-one -one property. My one-to-one -one property means I can drop the logs and set the rest of it equal to each other. So now all I have to do is cross multiply and solve. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and distribute. Um, because I have a quadratic term in there, we're going to set it equal to 0. And now that I've set it equal to 0, we're going to factor and we're going to solve. What do you know? You know that the answer to this is x equals 3. That's what you know. Yes. OK, so level 4, on your own. Try it. Just try. Uh, pause the video. Try it. If you took notes, you'll be good. OK, hopefully you pause the video. I don't know. Condense the log. OK, so on the right hand side, you notice that we have we can use our quotient rule. So we're going to go ahead and use our quotient rule um, and condense that and condense that bad boy. OK, so we're going to use our one to one property because they're both natural log on one side, natural log on the other side. OK, so. Mm -hmm. uh, cross multiply. Distribute. That equal to zero because I have a quadratic term. Factor. Solve. Which one's my answer? <gasps> both! Why? Because they're positives. Negative answers don't count, but positive answers do, and both of these answers count. Yes, honey. Very good. Um, that's it. That was that was level four. You did it. I'm proud of you. Good job. Um, 
like I always say, go back to the video, see if you can do it without my help. And then I also always say, like, comment, share, subscribe. And then I also say, tell your mama, tell your auntie, tell your play cousin, tell your grandma, sister's brother about the channel. See you in the next one.